It was a long, long time ago when I met the man who told me the story about the bar of gold. In this village, many hundreds of years ago, there lived a poor man and he was consumed with worry. He worried about everything from morning till night, from the moment he opened his eyes to the moment he finally fell asleep, worrying himself to sleep every single night. Well, as you can imagine, eventually that started having a toll on his health. He started looking gaunt. He was always feeling sick. He started looking sickly dark circles under his, his eyes from lack of sleep. Eventually, the people that would normally hire him as a laborer started looking at him with trepidation. They weren't sure if it was worth it hiring someone who looked like he might just drop dead at many, any moment. So finally this man, his worries seem to be materializing in the here and now. As he worried about lack of money, he was tired less and less and less. Finally, one day, he was sitting on the side of the road, his head in his hands, not knowing what to do next, not seeing any bright point along his horizon at all. When a country doctor was riding by in his carriage. And when he saw this man, he realized that he had to do something. So he stopped his carriage and he said, my dear man, what, it is, what is it that's causing you such grief and unhappiness? And the man said, well, I just worry about the future. I worry about my children. I, I worry about my wife. Oh, said the doctor, I see what your problem is. Come with me. We have to find a solution for this. Because I can plainly see that if you worry, if you don't kill worry, worry will eventually kill you. So they went to his house. And in his house, the doctor brewed him a tonic for calming the nerves and relaxing a little. And the man drank the tonic, but the doctor saw that he was still very, very nervous and that this was just a momentary reprieve from a big habit of worrying that the man had. So the doctor said, I have a solution for you. He took him to a different room, a special room in his house, where there was a glass case. And on this glass case, on a velvet pillow, there was a bar of gold, a real bar of gold. And he said, this bar of gold was given to me from my father, who got it from his father. And my father gave it to me when I first left home to go to medical school. And many a time I thought about cashing it in and helping, but every time I was in dire straits and I considered cashing this bar of gold in, I thought, no, I, I can manage, I will do it. And somehow one thing or the other, I pulled things together and I was able to get to this point where I am now. As a country doctor, I have a steady income and I not, don't need to worry about survival like I did in medical school. So now this bar of gold is just sitting there as a memory of times gone by. But I think that it would do you a lot of good. So I'm going to give you this bar of gold. Well, the man couldn't believe it. He was overjoyed and shocked at the doctor's generosity and kindness. But he accepted, well, the doctor really didn't give him a choice. So they went back to the, the doctor drove him back to his house and he 
came in overjoyed, showing his wife the glass case with the velvet pillow and the bar of gold resting on the velvet pillow. And the wife couldn't believe her eyes. She was starting to worry too with the lack of income. But now they had this solution. But as they sat there long into the evening debating when to monetize this bar of gold, when to turn it into cash and how to do it, they they thought they would just wait a while. They, they would just see how things turned out and maybe save it for the time when they really needed it. But from that day on, the husband was a changed man, completely different story. He would wake up in the morning fresh and he would whistle on his way to work. Employers started looking forward to hiring him. Such great was his attitude at work. Such wonderful solutions he came up with. Now that his mind wasn't completely consumed with worry, he was able to use a greater part of his abilities for the benefit of, of his own survival, for the house. He made improvements here and there. He made more money. and. Years went by and the bar of gold still sat in the back room in the golden case on the velvet pillow. Eventually, the man retired. He had children and grandchildren. He had worked all his life. He had earned a decent living and he was able to retire with enough money to live comfortably. And as he sat on the porch one day, rocking on the swing with his wife, holding hands, reminiscing about the days gone by, out just outside on the other side of their gate, he saw a traveler. This man was looking haggard. His clothes were in tatters. And he looked sad and hungry. Well, the man and his wife clearly remembered their impoverished days and they wouldn't allow a stranger to sleep in the forest when they could host him in their own house. So they invited the stranger in and sat down to supper with him. One thing led to the next. They started asking him what it is that worries him so, that, that causes him such to look so haggard. Why is he traveling the world on foot in clothes, with clothing in tatters? Well, the man said, I used to be a famous scientist. I had everything. I had money. I had sponsors. I had resources. But then came the one day when I made a fatal mistake and everything went awry. I was thrown out of the academic institution that I served. All my money was pulled and here I am wandering the roads, not knowing what to do with myself. I can never go back to being a scientist. The man thought, this is the perfect person to pass on the doctor's heirloom, the bar of gold. They let him stay the night. They furnished him with a new set of clothes. And just as he was leaving the next morning, they went and fetched the glass case where the bar of gold sat, gold sat on a velvet pillow. With tears in their eyes, not because of the parting with the bar of gold, but because of the memories that were accumulated in that object that had sat in their house for all these years. They handed the bar of gold to the stranger. And they said that hopefully, once his worry is out of the picture, he will be able to find his path. The stranger 
took the bar of gold, not the glass case or the velvet pillow, but he, want, he took the actual gold. But as he lifted it from the velvet pillow, being a scientist, he could tell that the weight wasn't quite right. He said nothing, thanked them very much for their amazing hospitality and their generosity, and wandered off down the road. When he was around the corner, he pulled out the bar of gold with curiosity, started rubbing it with his sleeve. And as he rubbed, he saw an inscription. It is fear of the future that causes unhappiness. Tread the path of life with courage and you will find your freedom. Well, thought the scientist, the old couple had given me a valuable gift after all.